Hey guys, welcome back. This is your host, philphonecage.com, and this is Xiaomi Mi 8 SE. Well, we dealt with the Mi 8, and this is kind of a lower light version of Mi 8. It's got Snapdragon 710 instead of 845, and 4GB or 6GB of RAM instead of the higher RAM equipped Mi 8. Let's explain more while opening up the packaging. Inside the box, you have a little pack, consists of a case, it's a free jello case in black, not exactly premium, but always good to have a protection from day one, and a little SIM card tray removal tool along with the USB Type-C to 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, meaning that the phone does not have such jack built inside. And the remaining two are the warranty card and quick start guide. Putting the phone aside, we have the fast charging charger of 5 volts 3A, 9 volts 2A, or 12 volts 1.5A. So this is still pretty fast, although the phone only supports only supports Quick Charge 3.0 instead of Quick Charge 4 Plus supported by Vanilla Mi 8. And this is a USB Type A to Type C cable. The phone looks like this with 5.88 inches of Full HD Plus OLED panel. Uh, on top is 12 megapixels of front-facing camera, receiver, and sensors. There's no fancy infrared or 3D face recognition here, so you'll have to use the fingerprint reader mounted on the back. And looking at back, you're gonna find f1.9 12 megapixels camera, aided by f2.0 5 megapixels camera, along with the LED flash on the center, a layout that we've seen from another leading smartphone. Uh, fingerprint reader on the back, Mi logo, and the whole rear panel is finished with glass and reflection of light on this piece looks just gorgeous. Now the software inside is MIUI 9.5. This is far from stock Android system. It's not as bad as you might think and they are planning to update it with the latest system MIUI 10 very soon. And if you have watched a few of my recent videos on Xiaomi devices, you will know that you can choose between the button, the soft key navigation bar, or the full screen gesture like the iPhone 10 or the BlackBerry 10. So you can swipe from the bottom to go home, swipe and hold for multitasking, or swipe from either side of the edge to go back. The Mi 8 SE has a whole bunch of AI aided system like the portrait mode for the cameras, automatic recognition over 200 different scenes, and all of them is covered by 3120 milliamps of built-in battery. But I'm pretty sure most of you are gonna find the pricing of the phone the most interesting. In mainland China, four gigabyte RAM model retails around $275, and six gigabytes of RAM model retails around 300 US dollars, which is pretty impressive price for a Snapdragon 710, the latest chipset from Qualcomm equipped device with dual camera and pretty high screen to body ratio. And on top of that, the build quality of the device is simply great. This is amazing. So that was a quick look at unboxing on the Xiaomi Mi 8 SE. We'll try to get back with the review very soon, although we're not sure if we can. Um, there are really a lot of devices on the queue. But anyway, if you have any questions in the meanwhile, please leave them down in the comments. You can always meet us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. This was Xiaomi Mi 8 SE. We'll see you guys later. Ciao.